All right, now we have a senior defensive lineman, Nick Begg, at the podium. Um, we'll go questions in the room again. Theo, why don't you get us started again for Nick Begg. Nick, as well as you guys played the first two games, you guys really started getting some turnovers in, in that last game. Was, it, was that really kind of the, the last thing that you guys wanted to kind of finally add to, to, your, to your game is in addition to getting three and outs, you're finally getting some turnovers now? Yeah, I mean, three and outs feel good, but nothing like a turnover. That's that's kind of our motto. That's what we pride ourselves on defense, getting turnovers. So after San Jose State, you know, we felt good getting a shutout, and it always feels good getting a win, but getting turnovers is really what we uh, were harping on the sideline all game, and we didn't get that done. So that kind of was the one thing in that game, which it's hard to be disappointed after a shutout, but that was the one thing after the game where we were just like, I wish we could have got more turnovers because we just had that one from Dion. So definitely. How much do you credit the defensive pressure too? Because it seems like a lot of times the quarterback's kind of flinging it up and then it's really an easy play for, for the corners and the safeties back there. Yeah, I mean, uh, D-line and DBs kind of help each other out. Uh, they've helped us out. They've uh, kept great coverage. It'll keep the quarterback holding on to the ball and that'll open stuff up for us to get sacks. And sometimes if we get hits on the quarterback or disrupt him, uh, it'll affect uh, the throw, and sometimes it'll help them. So it kind of goes hand in hand. We both just help each other out. You're playing a, this week a true freshman who's really supposed to be a high school senior at this point. It, it, is the pressure really important to, to get to JT Daniels a lot and kind of force him to make plays he's not comfortable making? Yeah, I mean, it's no different with any other quarterback, but definitely uh, one that's a uh, fresh, true freshman. Uh, definitely need to get some pressure, get in his face, and that's our goal. That's our goal every week, but uh, nothing really changes. We're just uh, really excited for the opportunity. Yeah, you come from Southern California, as a lot of you guys do. Does this game take on an extra meaning going against USC? And is it almost as big as the Apple Cup to a lot of you guys? It's exciting. Um, you know, you just can't build it up to be anything more than what it is. It's it's just another football game. It's start of Pac-12 play, which is the most important part about it. And, uh, you know, it's exciting because we get to play in front of our family and in front of our friends down south. and. Uh, we come from down there, and we grew up watching teams down there, and so it's it's cool. But you can't get caught up in that because you know that's just a distraction. So, but it's definitely it's definitely exciting, and we're we're really excited for the opportunity. Did you grow up a USC fan? I did not. No. So. Is yeah. there a little extra juice around the team now that, now that it is conference play and these games count toward winning a Pac-12 title? A hundred percent. We've been building up towards conference play, and each game uh, has been kind of a just uh, another stepping stone to get towards it. And now that it's finally here, we're ready to go. And short week, and we're going to practice today. And we're excited to start getting after it. I, I woke up this morning ready. <laughs> How does that short week kind of tweak uh, preparation? I mean, you guys have done it in the past, but I mean, just to give us a little insight. Yeah, it's different. Um, we kind of got to take it upon ourselves to get more film study in. Uh, like I've been watching a lot of film today after class and stuff. and. Uh, usually we have this whole entire day and tonight to kind of take care of your body. Uh, you get a lot of rest. Um, you know, right now we're coming off a game and we got to jump right in our pads and get right back after it. So it's just it's a different preparation, uh, and uh, and it's on the coaches too. They have to uh, they got a game plan all day, and then we got to try to put it in tonight. And so it, everything's just really rushed, but. I mean, it, it didn't stop us last year, and we're excited for the opportunity. You, you change anything about how you handle the short week after the, the Cal experience last year, did, or do you think that that was more just due to in-game execution and things that didn't happen that night? Yeah, I mean, we uh, kind of just forgot about that after it happened, and we're, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it's a new staff on defense. We're, uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what we're going to do differently this week, and It'll be interesting. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do everything this week to prepare compared with last year. Do you have a lot of family and friends coming to the game? Yeah, too many to uh, get tickets for. <laughs> Way too many. Do you have many. a, a headcount of how many you're trying to get into the game? Yeah, I have a general idea, and I don't even know. It's 10 plus, and then you got other, that's just like family alone, and then you got friends, and it's it's are impossible you, to. Are you trying to talk to like the Washington base players? Yeah, and get their tickets. It's just tough because guys, you know, you come to find out like, oh, this guy committed those tickets to another guy on the team like in August or something <laughs> like. This is like a week, and even like uh, just about everyone on the team, 
their parents want an excuse to go down to Southern California for a little vacation and, you know, enjoy themselves. So everyone from everywhere is pretty much using their tickets. It's a tough week for us. You mentioned you weren't a USC fan. Were you a fan of a team in Southern California growing up? Uh, not really, yeah. No, I just I didn't like USC. Uh, that wasn't my favorite team. So, but, um, yeah. Uh, going up against a USC team that's uh, kind of down right now, one and two, what is it like going into their place when you know that they are really hungry for a win and their fan base is really pushing for one as well? Yeah, I mean, I just love the opportunity to go down there and play uh, on their field and try to beat them on their field. I think that's a awesome thing to do. There's nothing more uh, more fun than beating a team in their stadium. So, you know, we beat them here last year, and it's it's a great opportunity to do it down in their stadium this year. Can you talk about like the production of Taylor Comfort and how he's come along this year from someone yeah. who not wasn't going to be here until then? Now he's a starter. Yeah, Comfy's a stud. He uh, he's got a he worked his butt off on scout team for so long, and now uh, it's a it's a pleasure to play next to him because he's so disruptive and. He always was disruptive against our offensive line on scout team and stuff. And, you know, we always wondered, like, would he ever get his opportunity and stuff being a walk on? And he's finally uh, kind of taking the reins in that nose guard position and just he's plowing through people. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what he can do against some uh, Pac-12 lines. It's going to be it's going to be fun to watch. Do you feel like the game last year was at all a turning point for the program as far as the mentality you guys can expect to be the fifth ranked team in the country and know you can do it as opposed to, to before where it's kind of still something you're hoping to do rather than expecting to do? Yeah, 100%. Um, it, it definitely changed. Uh, it just showed what we're truly capable of and uh, what we've built here. And I think it was a huge, uh, a huge thing. One of my favorite memories as a Coug, I think, on the field is uh, that game. So hopefully we can get one more this year. You guys are also outscoring teams 52-0 in the fourth quarter this year. Do you know what to credit that to or what's happening in that period? Uh, the fourth quarter is uh, pretty much we, we, we gather ourselves up as a team at the start of every fourth quarter. And we know that you can only win a game in the fourth quarter. That's, that's the most important quarter in the game. And uh, we, we uh, try to do our best to give no fourth quarter points to the other team. That's uh, pretty much our goal on defense. And I think our offense is taking that uh, met fourth quarter mentality on too because they've been uh, really turning it on in the fourth too. So it's just the most important quarter of the game and I think our team's starting to realize that. What mentality has the coaching staff kind of passed down to you specifically on defense? Um, I mean, we're, we're the speed D and we're going to run around. We're always stripping at the ball and we're going to out physical people. That's pretty much uh, our motto. We're going to we're going to fly around the ball. We're going to sub out, get fresh legs in so we can always be flying around, giving our best effort, and we're going to out-physical people. Why do you think things have clicked so early on under Tracy being a first-year D coordinator for you guys? Um, honestly, we're running a really similar defense. He, uh, he really kept a lot of what Coach Grinch um, had instilled in us, uh, a lot of the speed D that whole uh, culture, like I just talked about. Um, and, you know, he kept uh, some of the similar plays. And, you know, he obviously implemented his own stuff. And it's great. It's working out really good. And we were uh, able to pick it up really easy in this spring. He, uh, he really made it uh, easy for us to pick up this past spring. And I think we perfected it in the fall and got it really going this uh, once uh, game started. So. Yeah, I think he had a he had a really good transition this spring. He he made it really easy for us to pick up. Are there more blitzes and pressure? I know you guys did a lot of that last year. But do you think there's, there's a little bit more of it this year under Tracy? Um, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, it's pretty similar. Um, but we do bring we do bring I would say we bring pressure more often. Yeah, probably. Now that I think about it, we we bring a lot more pressure, and we're. Uh, Kind of coming with blitzes from all over the field, so it's it's good. Any questions on the phone line for Nick Begg? Yeah, we were just this guy the Seattle Times. I was curious. Are you surprised at how quickly you, you guys have been around? Because of how well you've done the first three weeks of 
have so many new, new pieces? Uh, no. I mean, a lot of people kind of doubt it. Like our D-line, we lost Hercules, we lost Daniel and all that. And we used that as fuel and uh, we knew we knew what we were capable of, you know. It was just uh, an opportunity to silence people and prove them wrong. So we, we kind of just took it on and uh, we learned from those guys in front of us. And that's that's a good thing about having really good guys in front of you. You, uh, you get the opportunity to learn from them and see what they do. So they provided great uh, examples and leadership for us. And yeah, we picked up from it and uh, we're trying to be like them now. Other questions on the phone line for Nick? Okay, and back in the room. All right, thanks, Nick. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We'll have Skylar Thomas on here shortly. Thanks.